Warning. Censorship. Warning. Thousands of protests here behind me. And you can see now the riot police have formed to confront the protesters and hundreds of police, not socially distanced on that side either, but they are, they have got once again their rubber bullets and pepper spray. We've seen today, unlike any protest before in Melbourne, they've started to use this tool, the rubber bullets against their own citizens. So they're firing tear gas now on the crowd at our legs. <coughs> this is this is the state of freedom in Melbourne, Australia. We're reporting <coughs> on a protest. The only danger <coughs> you face is from police. As you can see behind me, thousands of protesters now have descended on Melbourne CBD. Moments ago, the police indiscriminately spraying the crowd with pepper spray. Riot squad coming out and chasing, hunting, arresting protesters they can catch. But it hasn't stopped the group from marching on for their freedom. Remember, this is the sixth lockdown this city has seen. It was supposed to be a seven day snap lockdown, three weeks into it with no end in sight. These people say, they are not going to stop. And if this, if this is anything to go by, I take their word for it. Avi Mini for Rebel News in Melbourne, Australia. What you've just witnessed is the crowd of thousands overwhelming police. Go. Did he break a camera? Come. So what's happened right now is the crowd broke through the police line. And what police did was seclude and block half the group. There are thousands on that side, thousands on this side, and now police are brought out the riot squad in full riot gear. We haven't seen this since that day in September of 2020 where I was violently arrested for doing this, doing my job. Um, you have to open your eyes though. Hold them open. What happens when the cure is more devastating than the disease? We get protests like this. And as far as the police go, Next time they strike for a pay rise and they ask for the sympathy of the public, you know what? They might just not get it. Have a look at him. Fine. Right, can we get a photo? Got, oh, my face, right on my right, face. Right, I wasn't photo, even photo. running. I was just standing. They really want to quash this protest today. It has been an absolute embarrassment for the state, for the police, that once again, when they promised us thousands were not going to be able to march on these streets, well, they have. They will. They did and they'll continue to do so, they say, until these lockdowns end. So you got pepper spray? I did, I was and trying to get through the... And what's happened there? And I fell over and grazed my knees, but I'm a tough woman. They've done all that for health. Yeah. That's yeah. for health. Isn't for health. It? Absolutely. Yes, for our health. Yeah. That's the priority here, isn't it? Our bloody health. And then the police spray pe peppering people for speaking their truth. What does that say? That says the truth shouldn't be spoken. Why are you here for the first time? Because the last time I was too scared that I'd get arrested. And this time I thought, fuck them, I don't care. <coughs> so they've just deployed pepper spray, which is in the air. <coughs> yeah. Police line ready to once again engage the protest. crowd is now starting to disperse. You can see everywhere the pepper spray. 
and they're firing rubber bullets on the crowd. Yeah. That's rubber bullets. That's fucking rubber bullets in a bean ball fucking bag from about a meter away. Oh, no, that's all right, I understand. Yeah, no, sure, no, can no, I go no, around? This bottle's getting thrown, yeah, yeah. you go all the way around, right. just yeah. stop behind the line. Clearly Victorians have had enough, and today is certainly a sign of this escalating. The government thinks that they can lock down Melbourne forever, but if you think that the people are just going to take it today, it's obvious they're unwilling. In the face of fire from police, in the face of pepper spray, the numbers only seem to be growing. You're not worried about getting uh, done for that flare? All as I know, the flare's just single a sign of distress. And that's what the Australian people are, are experiencing. Distress. I'm a playwright. Uh, I am not the enemy. I am an Australian. There are monuments in every town, in every city, to people who fought and died for our freedoms. It is not ours to give away. It is not theirs to give away. They were down there using BB guns on us. This is wrong. This is absolutely wrong. It's a disgrace. This is not the next generation's fight. This is our fight. Hundreds of police in full riot gear. Again, chasing thousands of protesters around the city. When it comes to a stop, they deploy tear gas, as you saw, even on me. Pepper spray. The objective is unknown besides, I guess, to intimidate the crowd that I think are not really scared. They've had enough. You've got to remember Victoria, this state has been, Melbourne has been in lockdown for over 200 days. Good job. They've gone in three directions. One, two, three, police. Picking off anyone they can get. Stuck in the middle. This is what we've been seeing all day in Melbourne, Australia. Tear gas, rubber bullets, police riot squad, all to fight people protesting for their freedom after 19 months of restrictions, over 200 days in lockdown. This morning we saw on Twitter trending around the world Free Australia. This is why. Avi Mini for Rebel News in Melbourne, Australia. If you think it's important for the world to see what's happening in Melbourne, Australia in 2021, after 19 months of this, over 200 days of lockdown, the police brutality, the pepper spray, the rubber bullets, the riot squad. If you think the world needs to see it, make sure to share this far and wide because the mainstream media, well, their story will look very different. They do not tell the truth. They're not here to tell the truth. They are here to push their agenda. So share it far and wide and then head over to yaminireport.com. Give us your name and email. So if they kick us off the platform you're watching this on right now, we can still send you our reports. Yaminireport.com, sign up.